Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about rewriting literal equations. Now, what I really mean by that is we're going to take an equation that looks like one of these, we're going to choose a variable in the equation, and we're going to rewrite it so that the equation says that variable equals whatever it does based on the equation. So let's say we want to isolate the variable y. Our goal is going to be to take this equation as it currently stands, 2x plus 3y equals 5, move some things around to where instead of this, it says y equals something. Now let's talk about how to do that. Our first goal, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to kind of put a box around the variable I want to get on its own. That y is what I need to get rid of before any, or that y is what I want to get on its own and I need to get rid of everything else around it, okay? So um, we want to ask ourselves, what is the stuff around it doing to the y? So let's take a look here. We have a three right next to the y. Well, what's the three doing? It's multiplying. We have this two and x. This is where it gets a little confusing because the two and the x are multiplying each other. That's kind of what they're, they're doing to each other there, right? However, the two x isn't multiplying the y, right? What is the two x doing to the y? The two x as a whole is adding to the y. We're able to move this entire term at once. So we don't really need to ask, what is the 2 doing? What is the x doing? Because this entire thing is being added to my y term. So I need to go ahead and get rid of these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of them in the same order that I would when solving an equation. Meaning I'm going to get rid of addition and subtraction first and then I will get rid of multiplication and division. So I'm going to first get rid of this 2x. So what I'll do is I'm going to say minus 2x on both sides. I am subtracting because it's currently adding and subtraction is its inverse operation. These would cancel out, leaving me with 3y at this point. Well, what's that equal? Well, can 5 and 2x combine? Can we say, oh, well, that would be 3x? No, we can't, because these have different variable configurations, and therefore they can't combine. The best we can do is just writing them right next to each other. 5 minus 2x, just making that side of the equation quite literally what this says. We still want to work to get towards getting y on its own. We have 3y left, and we recognized before that 3 is multiplying. So how do we get rid of multiplication? What's its inverse operation to move it to the other side? Division. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Now you may be thinking, what do I divide by 3 here? Do I buy, divide the whole thing by 3? Do I divide one of those by three? It's the whole equation, just like that. So we would get y on its own. y is left all by itself. And on this side of the equation, we have five minus two x over three. And we're done. I know that's not what problems usually look like whenever we reach the end of them. Usually we say, oh, well, x or y is 5 or 2, whatever it is. But in this problem, we're just rewriting the equation. Because literally, <laughs> that's what we're talking about, rewriting equations. Saying instead of all this equals 5, y equals all this. So that's how we do our first problem. Let's take a look at our second problem here. So 
we want to, let's say we still want to get y on its own. That's still our goal. I'm going to circle the y here. I'll put a square around the y there. And I'm going to look at what else is around the y. Well, what is this 4 doing to the y? Well, it is dividing, right? What is, and again, remember, we can look at this as an entire unit, the 3x doing to the y? It is subtracting, hence the minus sign, right? So I need to get rid of these two things. Negative 3x, with it subtracting, I'm going to use its inverse operation of addition to move it to the other side. So plus 3x. So these are going to cancel out. That'll leave me with just negative y over 4 equals, remember I cannot combine those because they have different variable configurations, 2 plus 3x. Now if I want to get y on its own, all that I have left to deal with is that 4. Now here's a really, really important thing to think about. This is negative y over 4, right? I want to write that negative kind of out in front here. It looked a little bit more like it was just in front of the y. Negative y over 4. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to consider it a negative 4 that the y is being divided by. So when I do my inverse operation and I multiply to get rid of that number, I'm going to multiply by a negative 4. That'll go ahead and cancel out this whole thing. Now you may be thinking, I know I need to multiply by negative 4 on the other side. How do I do that? Do I just multiply it by one number or both numbers? Here's what happens. Since this is already there, it's kind of going to be in some parentheses, and the negative 4 is going to be on the outside of it. What do numbers out there do when we have numbers multiplying multiple things? That's right, they distribute. That negative 4 is going to multiply into both parts of the equation that are already there. So I'm just going to write my y on its own like it is at this point, and then I'm going to distribute. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and negative 4 times 3x, well, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and then we have an x there. So y is equal to negative 8 minus 12x. So we successfully rewrote that equation as well. Now, I know this can be a little bit of a difficult topic to understand. So we're going to have a second video, be on the lookout for that, that is going to go over some additional examples of rewriting equations. If you have any questions about these or want to have any specific examples you want to see me work out, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.